Welcome to another episode on the channel and here we have straight from the paint shop is our 2014 Jeep Cherokee that we're putting back together. And with that, the disassembly is nearly complete. I've at least got it far enough apart that I can see everything that I need. So at a quick glance, it, it's really not that bad, but um, it needs a few more brackets and stuff that I didn't anticipate. Uh, this upper radiator shroud, it's cracked over here. Just gotta get one of those. Uh, headlight bracket. Need one of those, it's broken. This air deflector, it goes on the side of the radiator. Grab one of those. Obviously the bumper, uh, upper and lower pieces. I need the grill, and there's a trim piece that goes around. The, the fog lights are good. And if we look on the back side, the uh, active grill shutter is broken, so I need a, a new one of those. It's a whole assembly that goes across there. And the check engine light, um, as I mentioned before, was on because of an active grill shutter problem. And as we can see, in the accident, the wire harness was severed. So I can patch that wire back together and we'll be good to go. Got uh, another trim piece that goes across the top of the radiator. The daytime running light or turn signal, it's okay. And the headlight is, for the most part, okay, but two of the tabs are broken off of it. There's one on the bottom and one on the top that are broken. I still have those, so I can put it back together. It's not a big deal. I put them back on, I put them back on the headlight bracket so I wouldn't lose them. And also this uh, energy absorbing bar down here, I need to replace it. So it's just three bolts and it comes off, and that's pretty cheap. So the bumper reinforcement, it's okay. It wasn't a hard enough hit. And one thing I do need to repair, the I mentioned at the beginning, it looked like this fender was rolled a little bit, and it is, the front's down a little bit. So once I get a new hood and these associated brackets, then I can put the, um, I can put the running light back in it up here and put the hood on it and then try to try to pull this back up to where it's supposed to be. And I talked to my buddy that does paint work, so he's gonna paint. I found a used hood and a used bumper, so he said he can um, paint the hood and the bumper and we'll blend in the top of the fenders, so if we need to do any repair work right in this area, then he'll already be blending in that area. I played around with it for, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes or so. Got the new hood set on it, and it's rough aligned. I've got the gaps pretty even on both sides. And flushness is okay in the front on this side, but for some reason the back of the hood is really low. 
and I haven't seen a way to adjust the height on the back and other than adding shims under here to lift the hood up a little bit. So you can, you can adjust the hinges and the hood on the hinge for left, right, forward, and back, but I don't see anything for height adjustment. So that's, that's a little odd because I don't have any damage to the hood or the hinges back there and it's a Mopar hood. So I don't know what the deal is there. And on this side, the gap is about the same as the other side. It's flush on this side. So the only thing, I'm gonna take it to my buddy. He's gonna do the paint work and I'm also gonna have him fix the front edge of this fender. In the accident, it was, it was hit here and it kind of pulled the fender over and down with it. So he should be able to pull up the front edge of it here. I've got the head, no, not the headlight, the turn signal kind of roughed in here. So the line's pretty decent here and the gap's pretty even down the front. It's just we gotta pick up, gotta pick up this front edge. So I'll let him work on that and then he's gonna paint the hood and blend the tops of both fenders and paint the bumper cover. I'm just back from the paint shop. My friend Brent over at High Performance did the paint work on it and it came out really nice. The blend is really good. You can't really tell. So he blended the top of the fender and then cleared the whole fender and it came out really nice. Uh, once I get the, once I get it put back together and detail it, like the doors and the A pillar and the roof and everything are really dull. So we'll uh, buff all that out. It'll look pretty nice. But yeah, he did a really good job on it. Paint match is spot on. I just need to do a little bit of work with uh, the gap over here on this side. This side's good. It's nice and flush and even. But over here we've got a little bit of a, so it's, it's matching up. It's matching in the front, it's matching in the back, but it's a little low through here. So I'll try to play with that to get it a little closer. All right, the next step, we'll go ahead and reassemble the front bumper. So I'll go ahead and pull all of the clips. I left the old bumper together so I can pull clips and everything, just transfer from one to the other, pull the fog lights out, one to the new one. And here we have the bumper assembly. It's all back together. All the grills and trim and everything are in it. So I guess we can go ahead and install it.
And here's our finished product. After putting, putting the car back together from its minor front end damage, looks pretty good. Everything lined up pretty well. I'm gonna have another video detailing it. It's still, the sides are all scratched, but I think it came out pretty nice. Again, gotta buff it all out. But our lights, I got the lights lined back up. Our hood line is pretty even from side to side. I already adjusted the headlights, so they're even again. And I'm surprised how well everything went together using aftermarket parts. So the hood was a used OEM, but the bumper cover, the driver headlight, all of the lower grille, that's all aftermarket. And I've had, I've had pretty bad luck using aftermarket parts, trying to get everything to fit up correctly. But in this case, it worked pretty well. Everything went back together. And I guess we'll just drive it and hopefully it holds itself together. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with the other videos on this project.